What is going on everybody? Welcome to the video. So we are out here, sorry if there's any wind noise being picked up, but today we are gonna do an unboxing and first impressions of the new DJI Mavic Air 2S. Now we've kind of done these in the past and I kind of got away from them. So we're gonna go back and just do a, just a quick raw video of what the unboxing is all about. So with that being said, let's get started. So here we go again, DJI Air 2S. This is the one inch CMOS sensor, which they've of course advertised all over the place. This is the Fly More Combo. And of course it does have the ADS-B. Really nothing else um, that's really different on these boxes. All these boxes are pretty much the same. So we're not gonna cover a ton that's on the exterior of the box. So let's go ahead and rip this thing open and see what we've got in here. Move stick, that's the butter. <laughs> Perfect, there you go. Just like the Mini or the Mavic Air 2 had the bag, we got your accessory tray in here, so let's pop that open, see what's in there. We've got manuals on the back right there. Pop this guy open, looks like it might have a slide out tray. Yes, it does. More manuals if you wanna read through all of that, good thing. USB cable here. We've got, ooh, what is this? Oh, these must be the filters. That's a nice filter case. The other one was about half size, so it looks like they've uh, given us a, quite a few more filters, which is really nice. So let me let me uh, brighten this up a little bit for you guys here. There we go. Good size filters. We've got a four, an eight, a 16, and a 32. It does not look like these are polarized, but I'll have to do a little bit more research and find out, or maybe it will actually say on the back side here. Nope, nothing on there. So it doesn't look like they're polarized, but we have four ND filters that came with it. You've got your USB charging cable. It is a type A to a type C charging cable, which is really nice. Things are moving to the USB type C world. Standard extra thumb screws in case you break one. And you've got, looks like your different uh, connection points for your remote, USB C to C, and then a USB uh, C to a USB micro. So that's nice to have and Looks like we've got tons of different propellers. It looks like one, two, three, four. Looks like you have about three different sets here. So you've got your initial set and then two spare sets, which is really nice. Having lots of props is a, is a good thing. So sliding that over, doesn't look like there's anything else aside from the manuals on that. And pulling out the bag again. Very similar bag, if not the same bag that they've used traditionally with a nice pocket up front. They've got a nice, Nice carrying strap right there. And then of course, we'll just open it up and see what we've got inside there. Of course, we've got the drone. So very, very similar profile to the Mavic Air 2, which is what we kind of anticipated with just some upgraded technology inside. So pulling that out, if we pull, you've got a nice slim profile. It looks actually maybe a little bit smaller than the Mavic Air 2. Maybe, I'm not quite sure. The camera is definitely larger and I believe it does use a different gimbal cover, which it definitely does because it's a larger camera. So press the notch to remove the gimbal. I did. Ah. So there we are. Nice gimbal, great sensor size as we know. 20 megapixel, one inch, shoots 5.4K video. Uh, up to 30 frames and 4K up to 60 frames and all the other good stuff. All the other stuff that the Mavic Air 2 had with just uh, some more stuff. So same same system, legs fold, all that good stuff. Memory card and the USB connection port are on the same sides as the Mavic Air 2 and it looks like it uses the exact same battery. Yep, so it does use the exact same battery as the Mavic Air 2. So if you have that one, you now have six batteries instead of just the three for one drone. So. Nice metal clips hold the battery in place. Everything feels nice and solid, just like it did on the Mavic Air 2. And yeah, so, so far so good. I'm excited to see the imaging out of this thing. We did of course have the addition of the upward facing sensors for some obstacle avoidance. So now we have effectively four sensors up front for obstacle avoidance, which is really nice. And I would imagine if they release a Mavic Air 3 or a Mavic uh, Pro 3 or whatever it is that they're gonna call it, that it will have some uh, 360 detection, but they don't wanna take away from that. So there you have it. There's the drone itself. Like I said, solid built, nice gimbal cover. 
everything is as expected with DJI. The quality on this stuff is, is pretty high. So setting that off to the side, what else do we got in there? Same charging system as the Mavic Air 2. You've got the three bays, three charging bays. They do charge in series, not in parallel. So it will start with one, charge it, two, charge it, three, charge it. So be sure that uh, you understand that it's not gonna charge all three at once. So same system there. Another box of accessories. You're gonna have your charging block. There's one more battery. Second battery, again, it's the Flymore combo, so it comes with a total of three batteries, which is gonna save you a lot more money in the long run, so if you can, be sure to get the Flymore combo. Same thing as the Mavic Air 2. You've got your battery two-way charging. You can plug this onto one of the batteries and you can charge a device if you need to juice up your controller just a little bit, your phone needs a little bit more power, you can use this to adapt to, to get some, some pull some power off it. So those are nice to have and that's just a phone piece, okay. Controller that's included is the same one we've seen on the Mini 2 and also the Mavic Air 2 as well. It's the, what is it, the NC12, no, the RC212, something like that. Anyway, this remote will work for uh, multiple controllers or multiple drones such as the Mini 2, again, the Mavic Air 2, Mavic Air 2S. So if you have all three of those drones by chance, you can use the same controller for all three. So same design, everything's the same. We've got the green LEDs, thumbsticks are stored on the bottom and of course you've just got the pop-up system here where you can put your phone in there and you know what actually looks like they may have extended I don't have my other controller to test but it may they may have extended this to where it can account for larger phones which is really nice but then you've got your actually USB to lightning if that's what you're wondering where that one was you have a USB type C to lightning that's already uh, in the, the controller. So you have all three cables there to fit all three of the types of connections that most of the phones commonly have. So so there you have it. That's just everything that you got. Again, you've got the controller, you've got batteries, you've got drone. A lot of this stuff, again, we saw in the Mavic Air 2 unboxing. The only thing that's slightly different is the filters that it came with and also the drone itself, but everything else is traditionally the same that we saw in some of the other stuff. So there you have it, another DJI Mavic Air 2S unboxing video just for you guys' viewing pleasure. I know YouTube's probably littered with these things already, but hey, it was fun to make the video and I certainly enjoyed it. Stay tuned, over the next couple of weeks I will be releasing a full drone review of this drone, the things I liked about it, things I didn't like about it, you kinda know the drill, so stick around for that. Thanks for what you guys do, thanks for you guys' support. Be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe if you like this video. Video, you got something out of it and if you want to support us in other ways head on over to shop.helpglad.com we got a lot of cool merch over there that you can check out so uh, be sure to check that out yes okay all right guys thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one peace